In JavaScript, we have three important methods that we use all the time to perform data transformation. Basically, these are the methods which we use to create new arrays by transforming data from a given array. So in recent years, these methods have become really popular and for good reasons. And you will find them everywhere you look in modern JavaScript programs. So let's see what are these data transformation methods in JavaScript. In JavaScript, we have three data transformation methods and these are map, filter and reduce. The map method loops over an array and returns a new array with transformed data. The filter method filters for elements in the original array. And the reduce method reduces or boils down all array elements down to a single value. Now in this lecture, let's talk about map method in detail. And in next couple of lectures, we will learn about filter and reduce method. So let's understand what is this map method and when we can use it in our JavaScript program. The map method can be used to loop over an array and it returns a new array with transformed data from the original array. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have an array with these elements, these numeric elements. And we are calling this map method on this array. And inside this map method, we have written a logic to multiply 2 with the current element. So for each iteration, 2 will be multiplied to the current element. For the first iteration, 2 will be, will be multiplied to this number 2. For the second iteration, 2 will be multiplied to this number 4. For the third iteration, 2 will be multiplied to this number 6. Okay. So in this way, this map will return a new array with the transformed data as you can see here. Okay. So for this element, this element 2 has been transformed to 4 in new array. This element 4 has been transformed to 8 in this new array. This element 6 has been transformed to 12 in this new array and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is what a map method does. It iterates over an array and it transforms the data of that array and returns a new array. Let's understand this practically. So here we have an array with some birth years. Now what we want is we want to loop over this birth years array and we want to calculate the age for each of these birth years. Okay, so let's first see how we can achieve this using for of loop. So let's use for of loop here. Let's create a variable. Let's call it year in or of years. Or the array name is birth year. So birth years. And inside this for of loop, let's write the logic to calculate the age. So let's create a variable. Let's call it age. And to calculate the age, the current year is 2021. So from the current year, let's subtract this year. Okay. And outside of this for loop, let's create an array. Let's call it ages. And initially it is an empty array. Now for each iteration, let's add, add this age to this ages array. So let's say ages dot push age. Okay. And now let's go ahead and log this ages array in the developer console. Alright, if I save the changes, here you can see the ages array has been logged and based on the birth year, the age has been calculated for each of these birth years. So this is working as expected. Now let's try to achieve this same thing using map method. So let's comment this. And now let's go ahead and use map method. So on this birth years, let's call map method. And this meth map method takes a callback function. Okay. So since this map method is taking a callback function as its argument, this map method is also a higher order function in JavaScript. All right. Now the callback function of this map method takes three parameters. The first parameter will be the current element. Let's call it element. The second parameter will be the index of the current element. Let's call it index. And the third parameter is the array on which we are looping over. So in this example, this will be the birth here. 
Okay, so now when this map method will loop over this birth years array, for each iteration, it will assign this element parameter with the current element, this index parameter with the index of the current element and this array parameter with the array on which it is looping over. Okay, so in this example, when we are calling this map method on this birth year, birth year property, I mean this birth year array, for the first iteration, this element will be assigned with this value 1990. This index will be assigned with the, with the value 0 because this 1990, this element is at index 0. And this array will be assigned with this birth years array. For the second iteration, this element will be assigned with 1918, uh, 1998. This index will be assigned with the index of this element so in this case it will be assigned with value 1 and again this array will be assigned with the with this birth years array okay so for each iteration this map method will assign this element parameter with the current element this index parameter with the index of the current element and this array parameter with the array on which we are looping over and for each iteration this map method will execute this callback function okay so inside this callback function, we can write the logic which we want to execute for each iteration. Okay, now what do we want to do here? We want to calculate the age based on the birth year. So here, let's again use the same logic. So let's subtract 20, I mean, I mean let's subtract the birth year from the year 2021. So we will get the birth year inside this element parameter. Right. And now let's return this value from this callback function. Now this map method will return an array with the transformed data. So let's store that returned array in a variable. Let's call it ages. And let's go ahead and let's log these ages, you know, this ages array to see if this map method has calculated the age for each of these birth years. So let's log ages. Let's save the changes. And here you can see it has log. I mean, when we are logging this ages array, it is logging the age based on birth year. Okay, so this map method transformed this birth year array and returned a new array with ages based on these birth years. And that's what you see here. And that's what a map method does. Now the callback function which we are passing to this map method, it takes three parameters. And the last two parameters here are optional parameter. Okay, so since we are not using this index and this array parameter inside the body of this function, and since they are optional parameters, we can also omit them. Okay, and the program should still work. Okay. But if you want to use the index value, then you will have to specify that parameter. And if you want to use the array also, then for that you will have to specify that array parameter. All right. So in this regard, this map function is actually quite similar to the for each method which we talked about, right? So just like for each method, this map method also loops over an array. It takes a callback function. And the callback function of this map method takes three parameters, just like for each method. So can we achieve this same thing by using for each method? Let's see that. So for now, let's go ahead and let's comment this code. And let's try to achieve this same thing using for each method. So on this birth years array, let's call for each method. And again, we need to pass a callback function. This callback function takes three parameter, the current element, the index of the current element and the array, right? Now we are not going to use this index parameter and this array parameter. And since these are optional parameters, let's omit them. And inside this for each method, let's write the logic. So again, let's return 2021 minus the birth year and we will get that birth year in this element parameter. Let's store it in a variable. 
let's call it ages and let's go ahead and let's try to log these log this ages array let's save the changes and here you can see that undefined is logged so it did not return an array with ages based on the birth year it has returned undefined and why it has returned undefined because if i hover over this for each method you will notice that the return type of this for each method is void and in the functions lecture we have learned that when a function does not return anything by default undefined is returned and here that's the case so this for each method returned undefined and we are storing it in this ages variable and then we are logging it so you can see undefined is logged okay so the difference between for each method and a map method is that map method returns an array with the transformed data let me give a comment here on the other hand the return type of for each method is void okay so i hope now the difference between for each method and the map method is clear to you so let's comment this for each method and let's uncomment this map method now from within this callback function we are calculating a value based on the birth year from this array and then we are returning that value but from within this callback function we can return any value okay so let's say i return 10 now in this case for each iteration this map method will return 10 okay so that means we will have an array with the same value in each iteration let's see that let's save the changes now and now you can see for each iteration since this you know map method is returning 10 once the iteration is complete inside this ages array we will have all the elements as 10 okay and also one more thing remember that the array which this map method will return the length of that array will be exactly same as the array the length of the array on which we are calling it so we are calling this map method on this birth years array and the length of this birth years array is 5 so the array which this map method will return it will also have the same length so here you can see the array which this map method has returned it has the same length but each element is same here because for each iteration we are returning the same value okay so let's change it back now if i save the changes now we have the correct ages array and another thing to remember here is that this map method does not mutate the original array so the original array this birth years array is still intact so to prove that let's go ahead and log this birth years array after the iteration of map method completes if i save the changes here you can see the original array is still intact so this is all about map method in javascript if you have any question then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day